Today, we will talk about kamikaze defense. A kamikaze defense is a defensive strategy sometimes resorted to by a company's management to prevent a takeover by another company. While these strategies are named after the suicidal kamikaze attacks used by Japanese pilots during World War II, they rarely destroy the company. Nevertheless, a kamikaze defense involves taking measures that are detrimental to the firm's business operations or financial condition. The idea is to reduce the target company's attractiveness to a hostile bidder. A kamikaze defense is desperate, but the hope is that the takeover bid will be thwarted. A company where management does not want it to fall into another group's hands may try a kamikaze defense as a last resort. In an intended acquisition process, an interested party will usually build up a small stake in the target company and approach the board of directors with an offer to buy the company. Suppose the board rebuffs the offer, which would invariably be the case if the board and its financial advisors believe that the offer substantially undervalued the company. Then, the interested party could assume a more aggressive stance to take over the company. In response, the target company could seek out a white knight. This friendly party would generally hold together the current business operations of the company. Another takeover defense mechanism is the adoption of a poison pill. That is generally considered a shareholder-unfriendly move, but it is mild in comparison to full kamikaze strategies. A kamikaze defense may succeed in the end, but the company would leave itself in a weakened state. There are several different ways that companies can make themselves less attractive takeover targets, usually at considerable cost to themselves. When a company sells the crown jewels, management sells off its best assets to make it a less attractive target and raise cash. The scorched earth policy is named after a morally dubious and often illegal military strategy in which a retreating army destroys crops and supplies to slow down an enemy advance. In the fat man strategy, the company's management loads up on debt and acquires lots of assets or even other firms to make the company a less attractive takeover target. Here are three key takeaways. 1. A kamikaze defense is a defensive strategy sometimes resorted to by a company's management to prevent a takeover by another company. 2. A kamikaze defense deliberately inflicts damage on the company to prevent a takeover. 3. Kamikaze defenses include selling the crown jewels, scorched earth policies, and the fat man strategy. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.